guys, Mega Hoss here, back with another video, and I know it's popping. I love these hard videos, guys. Get just talk and do what I like to do: talk about football, best sport ever. Yeah, soccer fans, shut the fuck up. All right. So, as you can see here, you know what I gotta be talking about NFL draft, light work. We're gonna go through all first round draft picks and grade them. Uh. F, F through A plus. Yeah. And number one, Jacksonville Jaguars drafted Trevor Lawrence. Baby goat, you know. He was the clear number one. I don't really have much to say. A plus pick. Now, at number two, we got Zach Wilson. And honestly, I wasn't really high on Zach Wilson because everyone just like been saying that he can make these ridiculous throws. He's like Mahomes. No, he's not like Mahomes. What is you talking about? The only thing I really like about Zach Wilson is how he came on that stage, boy. He said, let's go! Slap everyone's hand, bro. I was like, dude, if he was my quarterback, I believe in him too. But, um, I give this a solid B plus grade. At number three, the San Francisco 49ers. Alright, they traded up a lot to get here for Trey Lance. And honestly, I would have just waited and then drafted the quarterback next year. Because Trey Lance, bro, I looked at him. He's a Cam Newton. He's a cannon, sure. And he can run really, really hard. But, dude, the balls that he's be throwing are kind of wobbly. Pause. Pause. But, yeah, they're kind of wobbly. Not going to lie. They're not, like, perfect spiraling. You know what I'm saying? They don't got to be perfect, but they just got to be good. This guy, I give it a... BC plus. And number four, probably my highest pick, Atlanta Falcons. Take Kyle Pitts to really see if Matty Ice is a quarterback of the future. And honestly, I mean, not the future, like right now, if you're trying to contend. I think it's a great pick. I'm going A. Yeah, just A. Yeah, just, hey, I was thinking about doing something else, but just A. Hey. Now, when I'm watching this draft, I'm like, oh, I called that, I called that, called that, called that. And then number five, Bengals need offensive linemen, but they go, Jamar Chase? And I'm like, receiver? They don't need a receiver. And then I think about it, and I'm like, who was Joe Burrow throwing to when he played this man right here? The chemistry, I love it. I love this pick. Amazing. But they did need O-line, so I'm going to give it a B plus. At number six, Miami Dolphins. I thought they were going to go Panay Sewell, but nah. They go with Jalen Waddle. Honestly, I'm a big fan of Jalen Waddle. Run after catch, beast. He can high point the football. He can catch it anywhere. And Miami traded down and got value and then traded up with Philly? Like, that's, that's, that's a great move by Miami. Still got a receiver. And at number seven, Detroit Lions were not thinking of taking Panay Sewell, but they were like, fell right into their laps. Had to take it. Wait, Jalen Waddle, I give a uh, B plus grade. And Panay Sewell, A plus. All right. He went to that team, perfect. And then they ended up getting a receiver later down, which was great. Now the Panthers to select J.C. Horn? I was confused. I was like, did they really need that? And they got him. Maybe they did. I don't know. I'm just going to give it an A. I don't really know what too much to say. But the Denver Broncos at 9. They take a cornerback in Patrick Sertan the second out of Alabama. And they, like, in the beginning, we were like, oh, yeah, they got to take cornerback. But then they started trading for all these, like, cornerbacks, and they still draft him? I don't even know if he's going to be able to play. Where are they going to put him on the field? It doesn't make any sense for me. I'm giving this pick, like, a C. Number 10. <laughs> Philly's like, we traded down from 6. And then traded back up. 4. Heisman winner, Alabama, Devonta Smith. And the Cowboys went down to 12. But yeah, great move by both of them. Got the receiver that they wanted. I give it B+. Plus. Now at 11... Chicago Bears, one of my favorite moves of the draft, traded up with the Lions, I mean, 
traded up with the Giants to get quarterback Justin Fields. I'm so high on Justin Fields. I love the way he moves to the pocket. He chucks it downfield and everything. I think it's going to be a great pick. The only problem is they got like a lot of QBs on the roster. That's going to be fun. Now, number 12, they take Micah Parsons out of Penn State. The Cowboys take. Honestly, I'm not really high on Micah. But they did draft another linebacker. And, um... Yeah, I don't even know what to like. I don't even B. I'm just gonna give it a B. I don't even know what to say. At 13, the Chargers they're just chilling there, vibing with their new quarterback, and they're like, "Oh, Rashawn Slater still on the board? Yank, got him. Great pick." And the New York Jets trade up with the Vikings to get Elijah Barry Tucker. I think this was a great move. They might have given up a little bit too much because he might have fell, but honestly, it was a great move overall. I give that a B plus. Patriots. Patriot fans. Stop getting so hyped up about Mac Jones, all right? He's I. But honestly, the coaching staff probably gonna get him up. I'll give that an A minus. I don't got much to say. Bro, and the Cardinals, bro, 